Deej is gonna bring a box of moss tomorrow. Actually not. Make all the foam go. Say what? Say what, Deej? I didn't say anything. You said you're not bringing the moss. Okay, I am rephrase that. Deej not is bringing spend the moss. Three hours of his day tomorrow that he could be doing other productive things, and he's gonna walk through this woods looking for moss. You got it. Glad we got that covered. Ben also says we're gonna get this pond running tomorrow. I'm very hesitant because we gotta clean all the boulders off. We gotta fill the whole pond with water. That's gonna take forever. And we have the stream to finish, foaming to do. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I think so. Definitely good at running. Maybe we'll see. We'll see. Maybe, maybe right. about lunchtime. Good morning, my fine furry friends. It's another crisp morning up here in, where are we? Port Matilda. Port Matilda. Ben wants to say a few wise words to the camera. I figured I could give you guys some tips on how we foam waterfalls. This is a very, very important part of what we do. And foam basically is not waterproof, but it forces water to places. It's what keeps all the water from going underneath our rocks and makes it go over top of spillways. I had to think about that I for had a little to think bit. about that because I thought I was some backwards at first. So <laughs> we set these framing boulders, but if we would just let it go, all our water would just, it would run along these liners, it would go behind the rocks, and the tops of these spillways would stay completely dry. So we take the foam, and water is going to be following the slider. So of course, I foam everything off along here. I come up here. I foam it up there. We foam all along here so that water doesn't go down and underneath here. We foam all along there. We foam up to the height that we want it to spill over. Maybe I can show you better over here. We foam this all tight off up against the liner so that it can't run in underneath and pass the dam up here all the way to here and fall over into here. Now, where it gets tricky is not only do we need to foam the front off, but we also need to foam the side off up to the height of the spillway. So if I wouldn't have run this bead along this boulder, water would have dammed up to here and then it would have ran out the side underneath this boulder down to the river gravel pocket and all the way out down into the pond or out into the flower bed. So we foamed all along here, all along the bottom of this boulder, all along the bottom of this boulder, and then instead of bringing it up here, which wouldn't have helped anything because what would have, if I'd have brought that bead up all the way to here, then water would have just gone behind this boulder and out here. So we are still down against the liner. We foam all the way up against here. And now we're at water level height or above, which means water dams up here. It comes around here. It can't get underneath this rock anywhere. It cannot get underneath this rock anywhere. It has to come up to this point. And by that, then it's spilling over the spillway. So it's just, it's a game of thinking like the water and making sure that there's no possible escape. The whole bottom of this rock is sealed off. We don't need to seal off these rocks. It can go underneath of those because it's ultimately going to end up here and not going to be able to go through there. The same thing, thrown up against here, but that's not really helping me much because it could still run this side of the boulder and out the back. So I foam all the way underneath this boulder, all the way underneath there, out the other side, and now I still need to bring dirt up way. against here and put a bead all the way up here so that it can come behind this boulder, but it's not really gonna be helping anything because it's sealed off there. Hopefully that's helpful. Give you some ideas on foam in your water feature to make sure that you get water going over the falls instead of underneath. That's the whole idea. There you have it, wise words from Ben. just ready for the big moment. We've been holding off for the past hour. We could have been running it. And for two days straight, we had a well driller over there and he is just roaring away with a loud diesel truck. We thought he'd stop, but I, I, maybe they're gonna drill all night. But we can no longer wait. We're gonna plug this thing in. Henry, are you ready for this? You wanna see water come down? All right. Turn it on and crank to 10. There you have it, first water. Wow. That is so beautiful.
Hey, good morning. I'm here with my wife, Pauline, and my two daughters, and we're gonna be Latin fish girl today. I've stopped at Tussie Mountain Mosh this morning, and we got six koi, and they're beautiful. So we're gonna be stopping in there. Henry over there is gonna be Latin the fish girl. We're all gonna be watching him. Okay, let's go look at the fish. I got some fish food, some of Aquascape's fish food. We're gonna see if we can feed him. They'll probably be too busy exploring their new home. Are the fishies in here? Huh? Where are the fishies? Whoop, other door. Hey, hey. Oh, fishies, yeah, big fishies. Look at the fishies. Ooh, ooh. What are they doing? Let's go put them in the pond. You just take a hold of the top there. Yep. There's four fish in there. Whoa! The big one? Okay. Well, like the big one go first. Let's see if we can open this up. There we go. Okay, can you reach in there in the bag and get that one? Let's bring him closer to the water over here. Okay, just reach in that bag and you get him with two hands. <laughs> yep, there you go. Get him with two hands. I'll help you out. I'll get him out of the bag for you. That water's cold, isn't it? Here we go. You got him? Yeah. Okay, you just slide him down in the water. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Are you going to feed these fish every day? Okay. I brought some fish food along. Aquascape has good fish food. Okay. That's a nice one. See, it's white. Oh, yeah. Okay, Gina, come on. We're doing have it. Doing have it. Okay. Doing it under water. Okay. Okay, daddy's gonna let him go. Daddy's gonna let him go. Put it in the water. It goes! <laughs> Look at that, they're all swimming down in there. That is so awesome. So, and they will be fine over the winter, right? Yeah, they will. Mm -hmm. Can't really feed them over the winter because they, they quit eating. Yeah. But in the summertime, you can come out here every day and give them a couple. This is what Aquascape's fish food looks like. And you wanna be careful to get a good fish food because okay. a bad one will just, it'll. Just, Make it's it not good for your ecosystem. It okay. sits down there and yeah, you can go on Aquascape's website and order fish food. Okay. That's what I would recommend. They probably are not gonna eat cause it's pretty cold, but if you feed them every day, they get super tame. Like the ones that are Tussie Mountain Mulch, yeah. you can put your hands in the water, they'll suck on your fingers. <laughs> if you put your hand, finger down, they'll just come up. <laughs> So was there any time throughout the project that you were starting to think, oh my goodness, what have I done? Yes. This is just like this giant mess. What a mistake, yes. First of all, it was so muddy. And when you were bringing all this stuff in, I thought, oh, they'll never use all that. Load after load. They don't need all those boulders. <laughs> They're going to be taking them back. Uh, but you used them all. Right. And um, so the mud and the mess <laughs> was not good. So. That's pretty normal. We deal with that all the time, and I hear this from clients all the time. About three quarters away, even halfway through the project, it's starting to look like this is this giant bomb that's never gonna be put back together. And what I would say to that is, tell me that you're having trouble accepting the way this is looking, and I would like to reassure you that it'll all go back together, be patient, it's just and part of the And that's exactly process. right, that's exactly right, because that's what you did. You cleaned up your mess, best as we could. Yes, cleaned up the road where my neighbors love that and my neighbors love the fact that you cared enough to go and explain to them, you know, about the mess and that you would take care of it. Okay. So you were a hit everywhere. Thank you. Yeah. So that's a normal part of construction. Be patient. When we come to your backyard, it's going to be there. Mm -hmm. It helps if it doesn't rain two inches. But yeah. <laughs> and one other thing that I wanted to see, how do you feel about this being something that's gonna pull your children, your grandchildren out of the house, away from the screen, out into the yard with the fish and the frogs and the turtles, building dams in the water. Do you feel like this is going to be something that's going to do that for your children? Yes, and I'll tell you why. I have five grandsons and they are all avid sportsmen. Uh -huh. And so when we get together as a family, which is early and often, we create memories. We right. don't Everybody puts their phone away, mm -hmm. no phone um, zone, and we eat outside, we visit. Uh, yes, we will make memories that they can talk about to their children, and their children's children, I hope. Right. So, um, and the big people, 
will enjoy watching them do that. Right, exactly. So you talked about having the boys swim in here. I am sure they will. It'll be good. It'll good, be good, good. And that is an inspiration to me. When I build, I, I like to think about the fact that I'm creating something here that's going to enable people to get outside and experience life in a way yep. that's becoming harder and harder to do in our society. So right. I, I love to hear that. Yeah. That's awesome. So this is a big purchase. It's, it's it a is. big investment. So yes, it is. what would you say to someone who's considering this? Do it. Do it. <laughs> I worked hard all my life. It's an investment in my well-being. And I would tell someone else that it would be worth it. It's, it's a worthy investment just for your own yes. well-being. Mm -hmm. And I 100% I agree mm -hmm. with that. Yes. What better place to put your money to come to a spot where you can just recharge and relax yes. and meditate about life. And I'll tell you this too. Everyone who has come and seen this has said to me how it makes them feel. The sound. So the sound is really right. powerful. And that's one thing that we talked about early on, mm -hmm. ensuring that the sound would be loud enough that you could enjoy it. And so, yeah, it, it's, it is a hit.